So we want to calculate the empirical formula for a compound that contains 56.68% potassium, 8.68% carbon, and 34.73% oxygen. So whenever we're asked to calculate a molecular formula and we are given the percent composition, we're just going to assume 100 grams total of whatever this compound is. So basically what that means for this case is that we're looking at 56 uh, 0.68 grams of the potassium, uh, 8.68 grams of carbon, and 34.73 grams of oxygen. Um, so this is our total. Uh, the next thing we want to do is to convert to moles. So we're going to convert all of these quantities to moles. Um, and just by reading off by reading off their masses from a periodic table and coming up with a conversion factor. So if we want one mole of potassium, uh, we need to look at our periodic table and figure out how many grams of potassium that would be. Um, and from the periodic table, we can see it's 39.10. Um, and if you were to multiply this across, you're going to get 1.447 moles of potassium. Um, and then we do the same thing for the other compounds. So we want to get moles of carbon. Uh, we know from the periodic table that there are 12.01 grams of carbon for every one mole of carbon. And this is going to give us 0 0.0723 moles of carbon. And then finally for the oxygen, we know one mole of oxygen is 16.00 grams of oxygen. And dividing this across gives us, hold on one second, 2.171 moles of oxygen. So now we have all of our quantities converted to moles, and we want to find the ratio of the uh, different values of moles in order to get to the um, empirical formula. So what we're going to do here is take, take each one of these numbers and divide it by the smallest number of moles that we have, uh, which in this case is the carbon. So there's only 0.7 moles, uh, whereas the other, uh, the potassium, the oxygen, there's more of them. So let's divide each one of these things by 0.723 moles. So this, of course, gives one. Um, if we divide this by 0.723 moles, we end up with two. Uh, you can see this is about double of that. And then uh, for here, it's, it works out to be around three. Um, so now that we have all of these mole ratios, we can use it to write down our, our empirical formula. So um, for potassium, once again, we ended up with two moles. Uh, we have only one carbon, and we have three oxygens. So this is our empirical formula for the compound.